this video I'm going to show you how to ski tune your skis at home and I'm just going to show you today the way that I've been doing it and the way that works for me there's so many different ways to actually ski tune your skis Doki dog <laughs> Before we get started, I need to get change. I don't know if you can take me seriously when I'm wearing this. <laughs> Many uses of an apron. So what I've done is I've just got into some um, gear that I don't really care about. Some old shoes, I've got an apron on and it's just to protect your clothing. You'll find that when you're ski tuning, it is actually dirty and grubby work and um, it messes your nails up too. Dirk, if you're watching, this video is for you. So I've got my on-piece skis here and uh, you can just literally feel the edges and if they feel round and they're not really cutting too much, okay, they need to go. But if you have a look at this, you can see the whiteness of the base. So it's a different color to the center. So it really is very dry and it needs some work. You're probably thinking, why on earth am I a girl here teaching you how to ski tune? So if you don't know me already, my name is Floss and uh, I'm an international ski teacher here in the French Alps. And um, I have been servicing my skis for nearly over 20 years now. And you know what, it saved me a fortune and also it gives me the confidence that the skis are sharp and in good condition. And if you look after your skis, they're gonna look after you. So to get teaching in the French Alps and to pass the qualification for the English and the British system, you need to race and you need to race really well. And I was never a really good racer. And what really helped me was to look at the marginal gains that I can make. So I actually spent a lot of time with the Italian race teams learning how to service my skis, to make them go faster, to make them grippier. So I could actually pass these races to teach in France, which is where I am today. So I've just got literally a table and just a basic Toko um, ski set. First of all, grab a couple of ski ties some plastic ski ties and just bring bring the brake up so then you can work on the ski. Now what I do first is I make sure that I wipe the ski clean. So I just get a bit of tea towel and cloth. So I always put the skis with the binding facing towards me first so I know which edge to work on first and what to finish. Now if you bring your thumb down finger you can actually feel some burrs so when you hit something um, on the snow the metal reacts and actually creates burrs so the first thing for me really is to get these burrs off the edge and then I can sharpen the edge so I just get a gummy stone here and I'm literally a burr stone gummy stone and I literally press against the edge to clean the edge first make sure there's no burrs. You can also get an old ski file and uh, use that to take off the burrs. Comment below if you like my pinny. So once the burrs are off the ski then I set up my file. I've got sort of an edge file here um, it's 89 degrees, so that's the edge. Um, 90 degrees is, is the angle where the ski comes out and it's brought, so 89 is a little bit less. And for me, all round sort of skiing now, I use 89, whereas when I was racing, I'll be using 98 or 97, so it means that I can actually get onto the edge a lot quicker. But now I only use 89 because I don't need that performance and I want the ski to last long. And if you are prepping your skis a lot longer, then not using the shops and not using the machine, then they're gonna last longer. And if you're on 89, then the edge will actually keep sharper. So I just clamp, it's a World Cup file and uh, I'll clamp it together. This is really when you need to put a glove on, ideally, because there's nothing worse than getting your hand cut because of the edges. So just stick a glove and um, I'm literally 
here on the edge I'm just going to put close and I'm going to pull along and you can hear the guys and edging so I'm going to use that for a while and keep cutting once I'm happy with the edge and you can feel the sharpness come back I'll brush away the old files, make sure that's clean. And then I will use, this is what we call a diamond file. So the diamond files is just to get more of a precision on the edge. And um, they go from anything from literally 200, which is quite coarse, to very fine, which is I've got an 1800 one. So I just, general skiing, I just use a 200. And um, I'll just dip it in the water first and then put it on my edge. The edges just to make them a little bit sharper. And a better finish. Once I've done that, I will then just make sure it's clean. Now I haven't done anything to the base. The base is flat. That's kind of what I like to have is a, a flat base. You can have a bevel of different degrees. The advantage of having a bevel on your ski, so if you have a base of 0.5 or 1 or even 2, it means that you can actually influence the arc in between the turns. So it's easier to get off the edges and then onto the next. But because it's just a teaching ski and I don't really need that performance, I don't need it. So I've just let my base back to normal, just completely flat. Then I will repeat this on the other side of the ski. Once that is done, I'm then gonna work on the base. And um, I'm just going to get an old file and I will actually make sure that the base is pretty much flat by bringing the file against the base. Get any bird off any flatness. And then this is when I need to start cleaning the base. Now we haven't had much snow for a while, so it's old dirty snow, and I know that there's gonna be a lot of dirt in this base. So what I try and do, just got a brush here, which is uh, nylon and also um, copper. And I just literally will Break any of that more excess dirt off. And then it's time to switch the iron on. So I've just got a Tokyo iron here. And um, I try and, can you see where it's steaming? I actually need to have it a little bit lower so it's not steaming so much because you don't want to burn the base. So I keep it on a low heat, make sure it's clean. And I get some really warm basic yellow wax and I'm just going to melt it on and scrape straight away to clean the base. So I'll just turn the iron upside down, melt a little bit this is the only ironing i do all season and i'll just flatten the wax but i don't let it to dry i 
I then go into scraping it straight away. So I'll just get a basic old scraper and uh, I'll just scrape straight away to get the old wax and also the old dirt actually into the base. You can see that all the scrapings are dirty and um, they're not actually clean. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna use some universal wax, just basically cheap wax, and I'm gonna melt on the ski. Same again, upside down. in try and make it nice and smooth now if you do like this video don't forget to hit that like button and leave me a comment and also subscribe it really helps me and the channel so thanks for that once it's nice and smooth, I will then take the ski and I'll just lay it flat. I want to lay it flat so it dries and ideally somewhere warm so the wax can absorb into the base, which is really important. Then I will leave it for a while for the last stage. So there's so much I haven't covered. I haven't covered the different files on my choice, the different waxes and for different warmths and for different speeds and also different uh, diamond files, why I use which one and, and what for. So let's save that for another video. So the last stage after the wax is cooled, ideally I leave the wax going into the base for pretty much about two hours or if not even more even sometimes overnight is better then it's all about getting the wax off scraping off and brushing and finishing so what i do is i make sure that my plastic scraper is sharp this is large file. and then I'll start on the edge of the plastic and we'll just break away the wax on the edges, both sides. And then start to scrape. Once I uh, clear the wax off and scrape the wax off, then I get into a horsehair brush here and I will polish tip to tail the ski, followed by a nylon and a coil one as well, just to really brush in the wax and just make it nice and smooth. So let me know if you like that video, comment down below. Wow, I've got some skis, I'm gonna be here all night. And uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.